Hey everybody and welcome back to Lindsay's Little Library. So today I'm here to bring you the answer portion of the 1k Q&A giveaway video that I posted last week. Um, so thank you for everyone who helped me hit my thousand subscriber mark. Um, I put a video up last Wednesday, I think, uh, just looking for some help to get me over that hump. I was really close to being at a thousand subscribers, so I thought I would do a giveaway, answer some Q&A, um, and I believe within 24 hours of putting that video up, I hit a thousand subscribers, which was so just amazing, just unbelievable. So thank you, thank you to everyone who helped me out, who commented, love it. So stay tuned to the end of the video where I will pick the winner of the giveaway. Um, I will go off of the the comments from that video. So I have them all, I, I'll film that whole process at the end. Um, but for now we're gonna go through and try to answer as many questions as I can um, from here on out. So some of these I may reference who asked them, some I may not. It's some of them were asked by multiple people, so we'll just get started, all right? Um, these are in no particular order. I literally was copying and pasting throughout the day today, so I don't even know what or where I started, where I ended, so we're just, we're gonna pick off the top. Okay, so question number one is actually from Krista at Books and Jams. Hey, Krista. And she asked, which character would you want to be in your friend group? This is interesting. So right off the bat, I think I would want Lula from Janet Ivanovich, her One for the Money, the Stephanie Plum novels, because she's just flippin' hilarious. I would love Selena Sardothian Sardoth from Throne of Glass novels, because she's just kick-ass. Um, I would like... Hmm, I think Mitch Rapp, he's, Vince Flynn writes about him, another kick-ass character, but super funny and like down-to-earth. Oh, that's tough. Yeah, we'll go with those. Those sound like fine friends. Her other question is, what's your favorite historical era to read or learn about? World War II? I don't know why. It's definitely one of my favorites to read about. I think I'm kind of branching out of it. I shouldn't say I think. I want to branch out of it. I feel like I've kind of hit my fill for that era. I would love, love, love more books around the Civil War. Um, so if you have any suggestions for some historical fiction that revolves around the Civil War, totally looking for that. I think that would be really interesting. I'm also getting into kind of Russian history, so if you have any historical fictions that center around that, that would be very cool too. Alright, Sarah, my friend Sarah from Sarah's Night Sand, she asked, who are some of your auto-buy authors? Um, Jodi Picot, Colleen Hoover, Heather Guttenkopf, um... Vince Flynn, he's back here. <sighs> Diane Chamberlain, Jamie McGuire. I don't think I've mentioned her a lot on my channel, but she's an auto buy. Mm, there's one more I feel like I'm missing. Chevy Stevens. Yeah, I could keep going. There's a lot. All right, next one. This was asked a couple times. What is a book that you first read in elementary school that you still love today? Um, and I'm gonna go with Little House in the Prairie. I love those books when I grew up. Still love them. Still, I get super excited when my daughter brings one home because I think they're just the sweetest books. They're awesome. Next question. Um, Miranda Weber asked me, how many Randys do I own? So apparently I like to wear my LuLaRoe when I film. I didn't notice that and then I started going back through my videos. I'm like, whoa, I do wear my Randys a lot. So I own nine official LuLaRoe Randys, but I own probably another five or six shirts that are that like same cut, that kind of baseball style cut to it. Um, if you don't know what a Randy is, Google LuLaRoe Randy. It's a style of shirt and purely I really like them. I do really like them. I do. It's awesome. I've never had to count them before and the fact that I have nine is kind of crazy. All right. Um, let's see. This one was also asked a couple times. If you could live in a setting or place of any book, what would it be? Um, let's see. I would pick to live in Walnut Grove with little with uh, Laura Ingalls because literally like when I was a kid that's what I dreamed I wanted to go live on the prairie we had a creek behind our house and I would seriously like pretend to live off the land which is probably more information than you need to know but 
it was true. I would love to live in Hogwarts and be in that magical world. I think Pan Am would be an interesting place. Now, I would not be pro, like, Hunger Game thing here, but interesting place to live. And then Caraval would be so cool, too. Maria asked, has being on booktube changed your reading and book buying habits, and if so, how? Yes, my book buying habits have definitely changed. I tend to buy more. I do. Um, as far as my reading habits, they haven't changed a whole lot. I've definitely, in the last, I would say, three to four years, read a whole lot more, but that's because my kids have gotten older, so it's, I've just had time available to read more. Um, so I don't know if that has changed because of booktube. I don't think it has. Um, Ashley wants to know what other hobbies do I enjoy other than reading. So I scrapbook. Um, interesting story with that, and I'll tell you that's an answer to another question. I crochet. I tend to just be artsy craftsy. I like to upcycle things, so taking basically junk and turning into something else. Um, I think that's about it. Those are my other big ho big hobbies couple of questions on here. How many kids do I have? I have three kids. I have um, a nine-year-old daughter, a seven-year-old daughter, and a five-year-old son. Um, how do I encourage them to be readers? I try to lead by example. I mean, the, it's very rare that they don't see mom reading at some point in time in, during the day. Um, when they have reading challenges at school, I get really excited about them. It's, even writing challenges, my daughter has to um, write a fairy tale, write a story about taking a spin on a fairy tale, so I was kind of helping her think through creatively how that would work. Um, we always, I always sign them up for the summer reading program through our local library. Um, I get just as excited as into books as they do, and it doesn't always work. They're not quite as excited as I am about books, but I think the more, I don't push it, I guess I should say. It's more just showing them by, or leading them by example, I guess. I don't know. They're, they're decent readers, I think. Um, Jen Loves Books asked me, uh, who inspired you to start your channel? So this is where my interesting story is. Because I was a scrapbooker, when I was on maternity leave with my son, I discovered a lot of scrapbooking videos and kind of crafty how-to videos and got completely sucked in on that side of things. And that is where um, I came across Sarah from Sarah's Nightstand. She also has a scrapbook channel. So I watched her and then I saw her kind of start her booktube channel and her booktube journey from there watched her for a while and was just thinking, you know, I have very similar tastes to her. I have good ideas and there's some books that I love that I don't think are getting noticed in the booktube world and why not? So I randomly on I think like a February day just recorded one with the whole thought of I, I don't have to put this up if I don't like it and I was messing around with editing and I thought hey why not and there started Lindsay's Little Library, so it was pretty much there. Kind of got me thinking about doing it. Um, a couple other questions. Let's see, how did you meet your hubby, and how long have you been married? We have been married for 13 years. We have known each other for a lot longer than that. We actually went to high school together. Um, our last names were very close in the alphabet, and so his locker was a couple down from mine. Um, he proceeded to slam my locker door shut almost on a daily basis for the entire four years of high school. I thought he was just being a jerk. Apparently that's how he flirted. In the end, it all worked out, um, but that's how we met. We just didn't start dating until after high school, so. But yeah, 13 years. Lucky 13, right? Brittany wants to know what my favorite meal to cook for my family is. Well, this crazy family of five, it's very rare that all of us actually like the same thing, except for when it comes to my homemade barbecue or Sloppy Joe's, whatever you want to call them. We do that quite often because everybody actually eats that. So is it my favorite meal to cook? Probably not, but it's, it's definitely my top meal to cook for the family because I, everyone actually eats it. Another question is kind of asking how if I've always been an avid reader or did you become a reader later in life? I've always been... A reader I don't I've not read to this level except for the last few years but reading has always been something I thoroughly thoroughly enjoyed the my entire life which leads to another question that was asked what book what is a book you read in school that you love the most and what is a book you read in school that you did not enjoy the book I read in school that I loved the most was To Kill a Mockingbird I think I was 
I think it was junior year, sophomore, junior year of high school, but I remember reading that and actually like falling completely in love with this book and the theme and the the story and the characters. Just, I just, oh, it totally pulled me in. Uh, a book that I read in school that I did not enjoy was, oh, The Great Gatsby I did not like. I just tried to start reading Lonesome Dove in school and I ended up switching it was a project where you could pick one of four books I ended up switching my book and then come to find out I just read Lonesome Dove this year and loved it but different perspective you know how that goes all right next question Beth asks do you like classics and if so which is your favorite I'm really really bad I have not read a lot of classics at all like I've not read any Jane Austen not a one yeah not not a lot so help me guys is there a classic out there I just need to pick up if so comment below because I should probably get on that train probably should all right good question here of all of the World War II historical fiction books that I have or have read which one is your favorite oh that's tough that's tough I'm thinking it's a tie between the Storyteller by Jodi Picoult or The Nightingale by Kristen Hanna. I don't know which one I would pick. They're both fantastic. Emily would like to know which author would you most like to meet and why? Hmm. I want to meet Colleen Hoover. Absolutely. She, I don't, I don't know if you follow her on Instagram or Facebook or whatever, but she's hilarious. Hilarious. Like, I feel like she just crack you up. I need to meet her. And you need to know what she thinks about the Colleen Hoover haters that are out there because I'm not one of them. I love her. I just, I would love, love, love to meet her. Like sit down and have a beer with that woman would be fantastic. And if you know, if, if you know anyone who can make that happen, sign me up and be in that. What, if you could have a superpower, what would it be? I would love to be able to stop time. That'd be great. Just, you know, an extra hour a day would be fantastic, wouldn't it? And then what is your favorite thing to do with your family? Let's see. Right now, just off the top of my head, it's summer. We love to go camping. I would love to just take the weekend, go find a lake, and relax. That's one of my favorite things I love to do with my family. Where is the best place uh, to find deals on books? A couple places. Um, rummage sales. I'm a big sucker for rummage sales. I scour them to look for books. It takes longer, though. You don't always hit or miss. The next one's the library. There's usually a number of different book sales that happen. Some of them, like my library, has a bookstore in it that's open all the time that you can buy books for. Really cheap from a quarter all the way up to a dollar or two. Um, otherwise, they'll do like quarterly or semi-annual library sales. That's a great place to go. Um, some thrift stores are a really good place to go. Otherwise, book outlets are a really good place to go for brand new books. Thrift books is a good place. You can find them. They're out there. What tropes are an immediate deal breaker for you? Oh, jeez. None of it's really a deal breaker. I might just get slightly like, oh, yeah, I've heard this before. But nothing's like I will totally avoid it. And then on the flip side, what tropes are you a sucker for? I love the good girl meets bad boy. Totally sucker. I know it's crazy but totally a sucker for that all right um let's see jeremy says i'm a huge fan of psychological thrillers if you could be any character from a psychological thriller who would you be and why oh good question jeremy i don't know what was the main character in behind her eyes by sarah pinborough i can't even tell you because i feel like i'd give something away but that, or who's in Gone Girl? Was her name Anna or Amy? Amy, just cause she's that flippin' smart. We'll go with those, those were good. What is your favorite, what's your favorite place to read? This is, mm, my favorite place to read, here it is. So I live in Wisconsin, so I only get to do this for maybe six to eight months during the year, but on my back patio, in the morning before anybody else has woken up with a cup of coffee and just like the sunshine the birds chirping pure peacefulness 
that's my favorite place to read. And then the second part of that question was, I can't find it. Oh, which format do you prefer? So audio, physical book, e-reader, I don't care. I do them, I, I do them all. I love physical books because I feel like I like to show people what I'm reading because I'm one of those weirdo people in public that if you have a book in front of your face, I'm gonna go up and be like, oh, I read that and it was really good. Or what do you think about this? Or what's that about? I will completely chat to you about books. Don't take me to a Barnes and Noble because I will talk to the people who are picking up books or give recommendations more than I will even really shop for myself nor pay attention to my family. Um, we tried to do this for Mother's Day. It was a great gesture. I love my husband. He took us all to Barnes & Noble. Um, no, for Valentine's Day. Took us all to Barnes & Noble to buy what we love, books, and I spent more time talking to other people than buying my own books. But yeah, so that's probably physical books a little bit higher, but I would read stuff. I have a um, Amazon Fire tablet that I read off of, or I do audiobooks all of the time. I have a an hour commute every day to my job, so half hour to work, half hour back. I'm always listening to an audiobook doing that. So that probably leads me to my last question of how do you find time to read with kids, job, and a life? I just do it. Um, I give up on a lot of things. My house probably isn't as clean as it could be. I don't always put my laundry away. Um, but I, I really try to make time for myself. Um, I'm really lucky my kids are getting to the age where they're pretty, they're a lot more independent now than they were a few years ago. And so I'm able to, again, get up in the morning and read for a little bit. And if they're hungry, they can grab some breakfast or they have to wait for me. So um, it's just a conscious thing that I make sure that I do for myself. It doesn't always happen every day, but I really try to at least carve out some time every day. To read a little bit and that might be while I'm on the elliptical machine at the gym or that might be um, I stay up a little later or I sit at my desk eating my lunch and read a couple chapters it's just I try to make sure I have time for that every day so those are all some questions I did not expect that that was pretty fun and now what I'm gonna do is everybody who wrote to give away on here I'm gonna put all of their names in a bowl and I will pick from there I might even Enlisted some help from the little the little mini me's and uh, yeah get you a winner okay so I had printed out all of the comments from the video and figured I'd just use what I printed out so anyone who mentioned that they want to be part of the giveaway I cut up what you commented and I put in the bowl There's quite a few in here so I have my little mini me here and she's gonna pick one out of the bowl and that's gonna be our winner go ahead Mix them up. And the winner is... The Reading Nook! You are my winner! Okay, so Laura from The Reading Nook, you are the winner of Illumini. So I will leave um, my email address below. Email me, let me know. Um, just get in touch with me and we can work out the plans for how I'm going to get you the book. I'm so excited and let me know if you want to read it with me. If anyone's out there that wants to read Illuminae, we can definitely set up a buddy read. I am so excited. I was just talking to somebody at work today about that book and she like devoured it over the weekend. So really, really excited for that. But thanks again for everyone who helped me get over the thousand subscribers. Thanks for your questions. This was really, really fun. Um, yeah, I enjoyed it. So this was fun for me too. <laughs> You're adorable. <laughs> Anyways, like, comment, subscribe below, and we'll see you next time. Bye!